Very interesting. Thank you very much, Hubert. New information coming into the CBS 6 newsroom about that fire that claimed the lives of a young Schenectady girl and her uncle. The investigation into this fire on 6th Avenue was closed today. We now know where the deadly fire started. Kimberly Howard joins us live from 6th Avenue. And Kimberly, the fire department has also released the names of the victims. Yeah, that's right, Greg. Just tragic. Five-year-old Nyteria Manass and her 26-year-old uncle McClintock Tyrese Douglas. Firefighters say that the fire started in the kitchen and that it appears to have been accidental. You can see not much is left where the home once stood. A hole in this neighborhood, much like the hole left in people's hearts. As crews tear down what's left of a charred home that burned in a deadly fire, the neighborhood is still in disbelief. Authorities say this fire is where five-year-old Nyteria Manass and her uncle, 26-year-old McClintock Douglas, died. Everyone in the neighborhood knows McClintock as Tyrese. I didn't believe it. I, I'm still in shock from it because you see him everywhere. Including the Mont Pleasant branch of the Schenectady County Public Library, Chris Symes is branch manager. And once he came here, he lived here. He would come in every day with us. Coloring these pictures with the kids as gifts, always signing his artwork. He was like the ambassador to the community. He was just embraced by everybody. He would come in and joke with us every day. He would help us with any of our activities. He would participate. Friends and family say a car accident when Tyrese was young made it difficult for him to walk. You would think he would be home, you know what I'm saying, sitting down, just not doing nothing. Yeah, and I'll be right here in my spot with a little more cash than I already got. Friends say that couldn't be further from the way Tyrese lived his life, always making his presence known. He'll go, cock a doodle do, and then he'll go, yo. The silent candles and teddy bears, a stark difference from the vibrant man people describe. We were there as Tyrese's father looked at the heartbreaking scene for the very first time. That's my blood son. I don't know, man. I just don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Of course, everyone in this neighborhood is also heartbroken about that little girl. We're told Nyteria would sit in the window and say hello to everyone and that she was just a little bundle of life. It's clear that after this fire, for people in this neighborhood, this block will never be the same. Live in Schenectady, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.